Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and as we continue examining the settings app in Windows 10 May and November 2019 update, we are going to look at the options for projecting to this PC. So there's an option that is available in Windows 10 that lets you actually project a smartphone or another Windows 10 PC to the PC that you're using right now. That enables you also at the same time to use your PC's keyboard, mouse, trackpad, and so on. Um, it's available through, of course, the Settings app. You go into your Settings, uh, either by the bottom right in the Action Center in the All Settings button, or Start Menu, Settings Gear. Here, you will go into System, and at the bottom, you will go to Projecting to this PC. Now, you have different options for projecting devices, but Here's the thing. This works with very, very specific devices for projecting. And not all devices, in, yeah, I would say even a majority of devices don't have the ability to do so. The only reason why you would want to project to a PC is, like I said, in order to use its hardware. So for example, with a phone, an Android phone, if you would project it to the PC here, that would enable you to, of course, use the keyboard, which would be easier to write long texts, for example, than using the phone's touchscreen. Stuff like that. The trackpad, mouse, sometimes there are things that might make things a little better or a little easier to do so. You have the ability, of course, to uh, do it everywhere or Everywhere on secure networks are always off. Honestly, you should do it just on secure networks. Personally, uh, I'll put it off because I don't really want to project anything to this PC. Ask to project to this PC. Of course, you have uh, requests that will be coming in saying, hey, I want to project to your PC. Every time data connection is requested or first time only. Honestly, I think the option to um, you know ask every time that there's a request is probably the most secure one. So you always know when, you know, a PC or a device wants to project. And for more security, you can, of course, require a PIN. This will, at the same time, make it more secure. And if somebody would try to project to your PC without you knowing it, well, at least you'll ask for a PIN. So without that information, won't be able to actually uh, get in. And finally, to do so, you have to, this PC can be discovered for projection only when it's plugged into a power source. So that means that if you are on battery with a laptop, for example, it's not going to actually do this. It's not actually going to let it do because it takes more battery power. Honestly, I'm not even sure I've seen somebody use projecting to this PC. And I'm not sure it's such an um, interesting uh, feature but it's available and the big problem like i said is that it really really uh there's not a lot of devices that will have compatible uh, possibilities for projecting to the pc and remember this is projecting to this pc it's not projecting to a screen or anything it's another device that will project its screen on your computer that you're using right now to actually access, like I said, I have the possibility of using uh, the keyboard, the trackpad, a mouse, touchscreen, whatever device that you want. And finally, you'll find your PC by its PC name. In my case here, Acer Nitro 5 is the name that I gave my PC. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.